KTSA News Flash. A caravan of local law enforcement officers went to Cypress for the funeral of a fallen Harris County deputy. Deputy Sandy Dollywall was shot and killed during a traffic stop last Friday. He was a man that, that went above and beyond the call of service. He helped many people. He had a heart for children. San Antonio police spokesman Doug Green says uh, he asked that uh, those who would like to pay their respects perform a random act of kindness in Dollywall's memory. A 25-year veteran of the Bear County Sheriff's Office is now the appointee for Precinct 2 Constable. County commissioners today selected Deputy Leticia Vasquez from a list of five finalists for the position. The way I see it is I was at the end of my law enforcement career. Uh, I live in Precinct 2 and I love being out there with the community. Vasquez won't be sworn in pending a hearing on a temporary injunction October 11th. Embattled Precinct 2 Constable Michelle Barrientes Vela is fighting to keep her job. Elizabeth Ruiz, KTSA News. A Bear County grand jury has indicted a man accused of killing his wife and setting investigators on a month-long search for her remains. Andre McDonald was indicted on two felony charges related to the murder of his wife, Andrine. The indictment alleges that on February 28th of this year, Andre McDonald intentionally and knowingly caused the death of his 29-year-old wife. Murder is a first-degree felony, and McDonald could be sentenced to 5 to 99 years or life in prison. He was also indicted for tampering with evidence that was part of the investigation. Andre McDonald's remains were located four months after her disappearance on some rural property several miles from the couple's home. Don Morgan, KTSA News. The same jury that convicted former police officer Amber Geiger guilty of murder must now decide her punishment. Prosecutors let off the punishment phase by calling family members of the man Amber Geiger shot to describe losing both of them. His sister is Alyssa Findlay. If I could just continue our conversation, our last conversation, just not let him hang up the phone. Geiger could get life in prison for killing Jean in his apartment, believing it was hers. Defense attorneys will present their own evidence in hopes of winning a lighter sentence. Jim Ryan, ABC News, Dallas. Trade figures show that for three weeks earlier this year, Laredo topped Los Angeles for total incoming volume of trade into the U.S. Usually, Laredo sits at number two for total trade volume in the country after L.A. New Forbes report says in March, Laredo's ports of entry clocked over $20 billion compared to the L.A. ports $19.6 billion. Laredo still registers consistently as the number one inland port in the country. A warning to hunters this deer season. A warning to hunters from the Centers for Disease Control. You can catch a rare type of tuberculosis from deer, including dead deer. It's called bovine TB, and a 77-year-old Michigan hunter is believed to have been infected when he inhaled the germ while removing a dead deer's infected organs. Jim Shenevy, CBS News. KTSA Money News. Hiring is slowing as the trade war takes a toll on the U.S. economy. According to payroll processor ADP, private employers added 135,000 jobs in September. That is down from a gain of 157,000 in August. Large companies accounted for the lion's share of hiring, followed by small businesses. Johnson & Johnson agreed to pay two Ohio counties more than $20 million to settle a lawsuit related to the nation's opioid crisis. The agreement allows the drug maker to bypass an upcoming federal trial, but like its peers, J&J still faces some 2,000 additional suits. Bank fees are spiking. According to Bankrate, the average cost to pull money from an out-of-network ATM is now $4.72. That is a record, and overdraft fees are almost at an all-time high at more than 33 bucks. But people can get around overdraft fees because banks are required to get a customer's permission to charge them. And your mom always said, eat your veggies. So yes, that is spinach in your mint chocolate chip. Peekaboo's plant-based ice cream is expanding its reach to Kroger stores across the country beginning this month. The sneaky take on ice cream hides vegetables in the sweet treat, like carrots creeping into strawberry ice cream and cauliflower hidden in chocolate. And that's your CBSMoneyWatch.com report. I'm Diane King-Hall. KTSA AccuWeather. This afternoon, partly sunny, very warm day. High today, 93. Clouds will increase tonight. It'll be humid, low 69 in the hill country to 74 along the river walk. A very warm day tomorrow as the clouds give way to a brightening sky. High tomorrow at 93. Partly sunny, warm day on Friday, high 92. I'm Steve Williams with your KTSA Stevens Roofing AccuWeather Forecast. I'm Dennis Foley. Get news around the clock on 550 KTSA FM 1071. Get news anytime online at KTSA.com.